Hey ya, we're Cozzy and Micho. Thanks for joining us again on our Sailing Ocean Live. If you're watching this episode, we are still alive. That's right, we survived our first 24 hour sail from Port Gregory to Steep Point through harrowing conditions and somehow arrived safely at another stunning piece of the world, Cape Ransonette. We were thrilled to see our sailing friend Andrew had also arrived safely and had fun exploring the beauty of Dirk Hartog Island and surrounds. This is the sail into Port Gregory in between these two reefy, rocky areas. Um, it's a fair pass, like 300 metres in between. We're uh, just tendering in at Port Gregory where we're over the night um, and we're going to set sail first thing in the morning to Steep Point which is quite a sail away um, but right now we're just going to go and check out the Pink Lake which is right behind Port Gregory which is pretty cool. Get a couple of cans of fuel and uh, maybe some bread milk for sure. Rooseries, if it's open. This is really nice. That was a fun couple of nights in Port Gregory, but it was pretty um, rocky. So we're averaging nearly seven knots so far, which is, we've never averaged that before. Yeah, and what was the highest then? 9.6 so far. Wow. <laughs> Swell in our favour, so it's pushing us along nicely. We've got a big on sail though today. We are sailing 24 hours straight. So from Port Gregory to Steep Point, which will be one of our first overnight uh, sails. It's a bit scary, but a bit exciting as well. Overnight sale, and like seriously, this is what I've got to look at. Like, this is it. 
if I go anywhere this way, which is close to the land, 120 or 90, we go seven knots. Anywhere that way, which makes me feel a little bit safer, we get like four to five knots. Because we have no autopilot, obviously we just have to make little adjustments to get us there. By the way, what's easy to do tonight is my beer tea. I'll put you first and cold case balls. Take one. Or what else? Or whatever I can get. Delicious uh, data. Nothing. So we've got We survived our first 24 hour sail. It was pretty hectic, <laughs> quite scary. And at one point, I was like driving it like a car. Yes. Anyway. Okay, so this is the update. <laughs> We've got 19.4 nautical miles to go. Yay! So, easy peasy. So, we're there. Going to Steep Point. Gonna anchor for the day, reassess where we're going next, and hopefully upload our next episode. So, stay watching. There's nothing more delightful than waking up and being greeted by these beautiful creatures. Yeah. I look like a mummy and a baby. Yeah, teenager. That's why she's going the wrong way, because they're giving her grief. And she's had enough. That is an amazing start to the morning. It's absolutely stunning. The wind's totally dropped though. So now we're going like four knots probably. Look at the sails full. We've got sun on the solar panels. Uh, still no crayfish. Still no crayfish. It's a beautiful place we live, hey? With the Indian Ocean lapping onto our shores and the harsh Australian outback inland. So this is a pretty amazing moment in my life, personally. Um, it's, I've been, ever since I came to Western Australia and well before, I always looked on a map and uh, always thought that Shark Bay looked like the most amazing place to go sailing. And, and, uh, and now, after all these years of thinking about that, here we are, we are in Shark Bay. I'm in Shark Bay on my own boat with well, me and Cozzy anyway. But, and we're here and we sailed all the way here. It was a horrendous sail, but we got here. And, horrendous. And it's gonna be beautiful. And so, uh, yeah, welcome to Shark Bay. Your hat.
There's our beautiful boat. We're having such an amazing time on. Are you having a great time, babe? I'm having a good time, yeah. I'm having a good time. What's, what's your highlight and what's your low light? The low light's hitting the rocks. Yeah. And uh, highlight is just being here with you. Oh, gorgeous. Low mo has <laughs> definitely been the hole. And my high mo, yeah, being here, hanging out. Being in a beautiful anchorage every day, mostly. Yeah, a couple of times. Beautiful sail every day, mostly not so much, but <laughs> we'll have a nice sail down that we're in Shark Bay, I hope. And, uh, and got over that horrible patch. We've got to catch a 24 some hour sail. Yeah, catch some fishies and some squiddies. So we're going to go for a walk on the beach over here and just take a little general tour about the, around the island. So we are bush bashing on Dirk Hartog Island. We should call this Butterfly Bay. It's like butterflies everywhere. What do you reckon, Mitchell? Is it a keeper? It is. It's a reckon you saw this. Yeah. Got a speaker. Yeah. Still got the seatbelt. There you go. Safety first. Put it in the four wheel drive. Yeah. Oh. Gearbox. Yeah. Okay. The gearbox still shifts. That's working well. Maybe we can put it on the clutch. Look at the upholstery. Yeah. We're on Durka Durka Hartog Island. Durka Durka. Durka Allah, Muhammad Jihad. Bakala, Muhammad Jihad. Bakala, Muhammad Jihad, Allah, Durka Durka, Muhammad Jihad, Muhammad Jihad. Oh, shit. Come on, Gary. Act. You have the power. Bak, Dirk Dirk Allah. Durka Durka, Muhammad Jihad. Haka Sherpa Sherpa, Bakala. Oh, Durka Durka Durka. All right, Gary! Hey, look what I just found. Just found a, uh, a fishing lure right up on the beach. Looks to be in pretty good condition, except there's, the hooks are completely rusted away. There's nothing left of the hooks. So I'm going to cut them off. I'll take it back with me. I'll cut, cut them off and uh, put some new hooks on it. And we'll have, uh, I'll see what we can catch in this and I'll report back if we catch something. Okay. So, what, so right. what have we got on today? Okay. Okay, and come, come down here so you get me a hello. Right, and... What are you doing, Cozzy? Action. What are you doing, Cozzy? Oh, not much. What are you doing? <laughs> come on. Hey, Cozzy girl, what are you up to? Okay, so we have got our first yachty friend coming aboard tonight, and we've got some tuna steaks that we caught that massive tuna the other day. And to go with that, I thought I would do some potato and sweet potato wedges. I have popped it in the microwave because it par cooks it, and that saves on our gas, because obviously we don't have huge amounts of resources on board. We just go with what we're given and gas is not huge quantities. What we have is the stored bottles that you just buy from the service station. Okay, so all I'm gonna do with this is sweet potato, potato, par cooked, going into the tuna, and toss it with some, what the hell? <laughs> oh, for potato. And something I prepared earlier over here. So we've got our sweet potato and potato. I'm going to use some barbecue seasoning and I'm just going to lovingly sprinkle that over the sweet. See how it just crumbles over there. I just love feeling it just crumble. Oh, it sort of makes me feel a bit crumbly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get some salt and pepper. And then 
a little bit of a toss. Now, ideally, you'd have a bigger oven and a bigger plate, but we won't know what we've got. Just sprinkling some of it. Okay, in the oven. When our friend Andrew comes, our friend Yotti, I'm going to do some. Okay. I'm going to do some lime butter. Oh, we made it. <laughs> we made yeah. it. Oh my gosh. Bloody uh, legends. We are legends. We're hardcore sailors now. Stay tuned next week as we visit Denham, one of the first places on the Western Australian mainland to be discovered when Dirk Hartog made landfall nearby on an island that is now called Dirk Hartog Island. Thanks for your support. It really helps us to be seen by people with similar interests. So click the link to subscribe. We invite you to join the Soul Tribe. Thanks for watching. Cozy and Micho.